Hello, N4HNH here, sitting in front of uh, uh, arguably one of the unsung heroes of the ham radio world, the ASU FT891. This is uh, the radio that I carry uh, in my backpack for summits on the air. Uh, hence the, uh, the handles you see on it there. Those are optional accessories that I uh, bought from a different company. But uh, anyway, this uh, what I want to show you on this radio today is I want to focus on digital noise reduction, which is a feature on all of the all of the ASU rigs for the past oh at least a couple of decades, um, and it has just improved and improved and improved. Um, and all the rigs I've, te I've tested from the, the big three, I should say, and well, even four, um, the digital noise reduction on the ASU rigs is superior, and especially even the little 891 here. So let me show you this, uh, this in action. So we're listening to 75 meter rag chew here. And uh, first thing I want to point out is you'll notice in the top right of the display, IPO and OTT, so intercept point optimization and attenuation are engaged. The deal is D the DSP handles the digital noise reduction and that's a processor. The more you present to it, the more it's gonna to have to work. So the best thing to do with noise, even if you're not using digital noise reduction, still the best way to attack noise is from the antenna in. So the very first place you have to attack noise from the antenna in is the uh, attenuator. And then there's, there's attenuator, there's IPO. And so you uh, engage those things first when you're down on these low bands because you don't need the receive sensitivity that those, uh, that would be, that you would get here from intercept point optimization turns off the RF amplifier. So the first stage of uh, sensitivity, if you will. And then of course attenuation is even right, at, right inside of the antenna. Attenuation is knocking down um, the amplitude of everything, signals and noise. So on the low bands, we just don't need all that sensitivity. Now, the other thing on this rig is, uh, let me page through again here, is you have these three buttons here that you can assign. So I've got shift, width, and DNR. If you have a favorite like scope, let's say, and it comes out of the box with scope here. If you wanted scope to be the C button, press and hold, Put the arrow with the multi knob here on scope, then long press C. Now, scope is assigned to C, and there's the band scope. On this rig, it takes a snapshot, is how it works. So, what I'm going to do is go back into the menu, and I want to assign DNR, digital noise reduction, to C, because I use that more. All right now, so right now what we're listening to is raw off of a 75 meter ratio, other than the fact that I've got attenuation and intercept point optimization. That's just a marketing term. Again, it means you've turned off the uh, RF amplifier, the first stage of amplification in the receiver. So now I'm gonna go ahead now and engage, let me turn it up a little bit. So you hear all that grind in the background? There comes digital noise reduction. Now the first time you engage it, it'll come up at one. But I generally like to run it up to about nine. Now you press the multi knob and that'll go away. Now, if you go much above nine, it will go to 15. It'll definitely pull down the highs out of the audio. Now, if you, if you want to restore some of the highs, see it's right now at the default 2400 hertz. Just go in there and use your width button, and you can go up to 3,200 hertz wide. So that restored the highs. So now, let's listen to these guys. We've got some static crashes in the area from storms. Now I'm going to disengage it while he's talking. Uh, so there you go with that. Such an amazing feature. Why sit and listen to all that grind if you don't have to? So I hope you found that video informative um, and helpful. Not a bad little radio, the 891, and I'm using this one for my temporary base station until my FTDX 5000 MP is returned from Yesu for a 
uh, a repair. And I'll say 73 from N4, H and H.